What's going on YouTube viewers? This is Brother Minister back with some more videos. I'll be coming hitting you strong now that I got a little bit of free time. But anyways, I want to title this video Spiritual Beef. You ever seen some beef between some people and it just continues on and on and on and on and on? You're like, who wins? Or have you ever heard about a fight that happened and someone comes and lies and says he won or she won or he he won over him or whatever and you never get the story straight? Well, this is something that I want you to think about, about this spiritual beef between God and Satan. I mean, who really wins according to the religion? Who's winning? Is God winning or is the devil winning? What's going on with this? Who really wins? I mean, think about this. God creates the devil and supposedly according to the religion, the devil just gets mad because God is getting all the attention. So the devil gets mad and rebels and starts some beef with God. But not only does he start beef with God, he's able to get in the ear of some of the angels of one third of God's army and persuade them to come on his team. And now they're battling. Now there's a there's a war between God and Satan and Satan's uh, uh, warriors, if you want to call them fallen angels, and God's angels, supposedly the good angels. I mean, this battle and this beef been going on supposedly for 6,000 years. I mean, are you serious? Is this really going on? Is there really a beef that can last that long? I mean, what is, who's going to win this war? Now, anyways, the point I'm getting to is who actually really wins? Because if the beef started back at the beginning for the creation of the earth and just say it's God's territory in heaven, all of a sudden he allows Satan to come in. He created him. And all of a sudden Satan comes into territory and starts trying to take over. So then, boom, God supposedly beats him, beats him by kicking him out of his territory. I mean, it's just like gangs. Satan comes up on his turf and God gets mad and kicks him out. Now, keep in mind, God made him. So God kicks him out. Satan says, well, whatever, and takes a couple of people, a couple of God's people. It's just like dudes getting mad and stealing somebody's girl. That's what the devil basically just did. Stole some of God's creation. Anyways, so God kicks him out and throws him down to the other part of the creation, which is the earth, supposedly. Now, God creates some humans, which is his creation. And all of a sudden, the devil is bad enough to be able to mess up also the human beings. It's just like, why is Satan able to mess up everything God created? I mean, why is Satan able to mess up marriages when God created it? Why is he able to mess up all this stuff? The earth, the uh, soil don't produce as much as it, as it should do. Sickness is everywhere. Sins everywhere. Wickedness is everywhere. Rapes, murders, all kind of robbery and this and this and that. All because of supposedly Satan. What did you think Satan's winning? Did you ever think about this? <coughs> this beast's been going on and God is supposed to ultimately win. I guess this is supposedly part of his plan according to the religion. But ultimately, we're supposed to say he is victorious when he wins. But I, oh, I want you to think about this. Who technically is winning if only few get saved? If in the end, the matter is God's now saving or restoring what he started. But if the majority of the people do not accept Christ or do not get in or like as Jesus supposedly said, only few get in. If only few get in, then that seems like the devil won if this war is about the souls of human beings being saved. If only few get saved, how does God win according to your religion? How does he win? Also is this. It seems like, now I'm saying it seems because according to the systematic theology and according to this book, if you read it for what it says, it seems like Satan can't be dealt with. For the simple fact is, he messed up things in heaven, so he gets kicked out. He comes down to earth, he messes up the earth, and he can't, it's like he can't be punished. I mean, for 6,000 years, he's wrecking and ruining stuff, supposedly, and he's still able to do it. I mean, why can't nobody stop this dude? Why can't no one stop him and his angels? Oh, we see a couple times where God supposedly got mad at a few of the angels who came down and had sex with humans and locked them up. Well, why can't he lock up the devil? You ever think about that? Why can't he lock up all these other demons that are supposedly causing all kinds of problems out here? Why can't he just come down and lock them up? I mean, is the fight going to really last that long, 6,000 years? And supposedly, according to the plan, God had already fixed it by Christ, by Christ being sent by his father in dying. And according to Hebrews 2.14, you got to check out the video out on this. It says that he had to die so that he can destroy the person who has the power of death, which is the devil, according to Hebrews 2.14. Now, if Christ had already came and died, according to the scriptures, he should have destroyed 
the devil. But we, but we still believe in the devil. We still believe his works are still going on. All these things are still going on. So did God win or is Satan still winning? I mean, what else does God have to do? He had already sent his son. And yet it seems like Satan is still doing everything, if not worse than what he did from the beginning. So who is really winning this beef? Now think about this also. Why did Satan have the power of death? Why did, how did he get that power to be able to have power of death? From the very beginning, why would that even be an issue? How did he have it? I mean, you think about that. He has the power of death. We usually ascribe it to God saying he's the one that chooses and has the timetable of when a person dies already set up. That's what we normally would say. But the Bible is actually saying the devil had the power of death. Are you serious? We need to start thinking about this, people. Now, look about this. Now, this is deep. Now, I thought about this even when I used to be a preacher, but I never, I never allowed myself to go there because I still had religious mindset. But check this out. In 1 John 3, 8, I'm going to give two scriptures. 1 John 3, 8 says, He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, now listen to this, 1 John 3, 8, For this purpose the Son of God was manifested or revealed, that he might destroy the works of the devil. According to the Bible, the only reason why the Son of God, which is Jesus Christ or Yeshua HaMashiach, whatever you want to refer to him as, the only reason why he was revealed to the people is that he might destroy the works of the devil. Now, if you look at the works of the devil, supposedly wickedness, rape, murder, uh, uh, lying, thieving, stealing, killing, robbing, all these other things, abortions, those are the works of the devil. Now, according to the Bible, it says God, the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. I ask you this question. Question, is the works of the devil being destroyed? Can you Christians please just answer the question? Is the devil is the works of the devil destroyed? Yes or no? It does not seem that way, does it? It doesn't appear to be that way. It doesn't look that way. It doesn't feel that way. All these different things. So question is, did Christ, when he was sent, destroy the works? Because if that's what we really are taught in the religion, why do we still see the works of the devil when the Bible says Christ came to destroy the works? He obviously didn't destroy the works according to the religion is what I'm saying. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So technically, he, we would, the God of the Bible wouldn't be winning the war. He wouldn't be winning the fight for the simple fact is because it claimed that he destroyed the works of the devil and also destroyed the devil. But we know that that's not true. Now, check this out. Go with me to Revelation. I believe it's chapter 20 real quick. Revelation chapter 20. This is deep. This is real deep. This is supposedly towards the end of what's supposed to happen at the end of our lives here on earth. It says in Revelation 20, and I brought this up when I used to be a preacher, but I didn't have a full understanding, but I always kept it in the back of my mind. Now look at this. It says, Revelation chapter 20 says, and, and verse 1, And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid a hold on the dragon and the old serpent, which is the devil, and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. Notice this is at the end, supposedly Revelation at the end, is Satan was bound for a thousand years. Now check this out. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the, na the nations no more. So obviously he's going to be thrown, sealed, and, uh, and shut up in a pit so that he can't deceive nobody no more. Now listen to what it says. It says, until the thousand years should be fulfilled and after that he must be loosed for a season. Are you kidding me? Is this in the Bible? Notice that it just said, when at the end times and all this stuff's going down, Satan's going to get taken. Uh, uh, God's people is going to be resurrected out of the grave. So Satan's people, I mean, Satan's going to be taken. He's going to be thrown in a pit for a thousand years. And then all of a sudden the book says he's only going to be in there for a thousand years. And then he got to be released one more time. Are you kidding me? When will it ever end? When will it ever end? If he's, if Satan's being defeated, when will it ever end? Even our Bibles are saying that even after God finally throws him out, puts him in the pit, God's going to choose to release him again. What What is going on with this beef? How can the devil keep getting released to be doing all of this stuff if, he can, if, 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 if he's supposed to be defeated? He's supposed to have already been defeated when Christ came. The works of him are supposed to be gone. And then even when we're like, oh, finally, finally Christ comes back, the devil gets thrown in the pit, you would think that would be the end of him. But no, your Bible actually says they're going to release him again. Now, so how can we trust that we're going to be saved, delivered, uh, 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 or victory is going to come when this dude, the devil, has been banging up people for 6,000 years? And listen, nothing has happened to him yet. Nothing at all. 
What has happened to him, Eric? Can someone tell me what's going on with the devil right now? All I know is he got kicked out of heaven, supposedly. But even when he got kicked out of heaven, the Bible says he still had access to heaven. He's still going over having meetings. How come when you mess up, the Bible says that you can't even come to the face of God? But the devil done messed up, turned his back, and stole his people, and he still gets to go up there and sit down and have a congregation meeting with him. Question, have you ever sat in the face of God and get to talk to him? And have a conversation? Why doesn't God ask you what you've been doing and you say, I'm just going to and fro from Willing to Ohio to Ohio to Florida? Why can't you just say that? And God say, hey, have you checked out my dude in New York? Why can't he just say that? Think about this. So this spiritual beef that's going on, I want to know, what do you think about this? Who is really winning? This, I'm, this is just a question. Who do you think is willing, winning? I mean, if multiple people are getting murdered, multiple babies are getting aborted, multiple people are, are hating one another, multiple people are dying, and the majority of the world, according to the Bible, is actually uh, 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 not getting into the kingdom of God. So who actually won? Who actually won? If the devil is able to mess up the stuff in heaven that's going on and able to mess up the stuff in earth that's going on, who is actually winning this spiritual beef? It's amazing. Did you ever think about this? God versus the devil. Who is actually winning? God bless you.